Good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday and happy Father's Day. This is your girl, Danika Thomas, better known as Nika. Um, and I'm here at Inside Celebration. And we just want to give a shout out to Father's Day to all the dads, the stepdads, grandfathers, uncles, godfathers, God-fearing men, all the amazing men out there who have stepped in and done an amazing job, not only raising their children, but raising children within the community. Today, we salute you. Um, guys, we know that sometimes Father's Day, you feel a little slighted, but <laughs> not here at Inside Celebration. We want you to know that we love you. We care about you. You guys have a pivotal role, um, whether you've actually, you know, I, I want to say birth, but given birth <laughs> um, to a child, it doesn't matter because the fact that you can be in a child's life is phenomenal. So we want to thank you and we want to shout you out to all the men here at Inside Celebration, to all the men who can hear my voice. We love Love you. We appreciate you. And today is a day on for you. Okay. So if you haven't already connect with us on all of our amazing platforms that we use, as you, as you will hear Bishop say that his favorite is Facebook. And then again, his favorite is Instagram. And then again, his favorite is Roku. And then again, his favorite is online. So join us there and share. Um, <clears throat> if you're not sharing, you're not caring. <laughs> so definitely you want to make sure that you share the love and uh, all the messages that we have here today. You never know how we can bless someone and you never know who might just be in a funk and just need somebody to just think about them, you know? So that's all it is. Sometimes we don't have time to call or, you know, drop a letter or whatever. Letters are probably obsolete at this point. Text, <laughs> I'll say, but just drop a link and share this information so that they know and that they feel loved. Okay, so what is today, guys? It is Juneteenth. You see me, I'm rocking my Juneteenth uh, t-shirt that my cousins brought down from New York for me. Um, so shout out to my family that came down and helped to celebrate. Um, and we're going to talk about Juneteenth today because this is a holiday that, oh my God, that we have fought for and earned. Um, this is what we call Emancipation Day or Freedom Day or the nation's second Independence Day. It's really our first, okay? There's no second. You got to be number one with this thing. So Juneteenth commemorates the events on June 19th, 1865, when a Union General, Gordon Granger, arrived in Galveston, Texas to inform enslaved African Americans that the Civil War had ended and they were free. Keep in mind, this was two years after they were already free. Now, Granger's news came two months after the uh, Confederate General Robert E. Lee surrendered at a pot Ap Appomattox <laughs> courthouse, and more than two years after President Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. In 1980, Texas became the first state to designate Juneteenth as a holiday. Praise God. <laughs> and now all 50 states and the District of Columbia now recognize this day in some form. This is, has, has been a weekend of celebration, as you will see. Definitely, it's the most celebrated African-American holiday that we have, and particularly in the South. Um, Juneteenth did not become an actual federal holiday until just last year. On June 17, 2021, President Biden signed the bill into law. This has been amazing, guys. This has been something that has been a long time coming. And it came following the national reckoning on race precipitated by the deaths of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, and many other black African-Americans that have died senselessly within our nation. So as you see, we are celebrate here today, we are celebrating within the community, but I ask you a question, are we really truly free? You know, is this fight even over? Can we still breathe? We are still fighting, we are still struggling, but we are still moving forward. So every step forward is a step for us. So I hope this weekend you enjoy yourself, um, get involved in some Juneteenth activities. There's still time out there. There's a couple of different festivals that are going on in Baltimore and DC, they're everywhere. 
and there's also absolutely time to celebrate with your family. So happy Juneteenth, my people. Happy Juneteenth. This is our Independence Day, and we are going to live it up. We Y'all should get some firecrackers so that we can live it up today, okay? <laughs> so join us. And you have a chance to come to church and, and join us for our Juneteenth celebration that we're going to have here. All righty. So our 2022 ministry theme is what? Conquer. Conquer, conquer. Romans 8.37, we are conquering all things through Christ. Um, we are the head and not the tail. We are leaders in this. And so we just want to encourage you. This is Bishop's message. This is our mantra for the year of 2022. Conquer is our word. And we plan to do that in all things. That could be in um, conquering different ministries, conquering whatever your fears are, conquering things that you just haven't quite figured out yet, taking that small step and, and being okay with it, conquering, getting an accountability partner, whatever it is that you want to do in life, you can do it, but you got to make a plan. Okay. So if you haven't figured out, we're in the month of June, we're halfway through 2022. It's not too late to conquer guys, make a plan, write it down, keep your vision really clear. Habaka, right? You can do this. Okay. So make your vision plan uh, clear and conquer. So we've got a lot of things going on in church this oh, this week, this month. Um, we still got you're still able to sign up for mentorship training, mentorship in small group. Um, can't wait for Bishop to roll out those classes, but registration is still open. So he has a vision, and that vision will be fulfilled. Because why? Because we need it. Okay, we want a thousand people in small groups and 500 trained mentors. So go online, register. It doesn't matter if you've never done it before. It's okay. It's okay to step outside of the box. It's perfectly safe there. The ground is safe. So register for training. Um, you will get trained on all the opportunities that we have here in church, and it is definitely time to, to stand up. You can register online or with your phone app. So shout out to all those who have registered and just waiting, and we are uh, anxiously anticipating, Bishop, when the dates are going to come out so we can move to this next phase that we know we need to go. Because we've got folks behind us that we need to bring in. And just like you know, Bishop said, I think it was in January, you know, we all have a purpose. We all should have our own 12. So what 12 are you bringing to Christ. Okay. Just a thought, just a thought. <laughs> so we've got our Celebration City kids. They are live and in color in church every Sunday now at 945. You can join us, check in. Um, we've got a new mobile check-in. Uh, three ways to sign up. No need. Ch kids can come in the service, in the sanctuary, or they can go to their own children's church where they can learn. No reason to leave them at home. They're not a bother. Bishop loves when they're in the um, actual sanctuary, but you have options, and I love that. So sign up. You see all the different ways to sign up and get them in the building. And then we've got our Win JV, which is our middle school. Um, and that's every Sunday, 10 a.m. here, too. And that's with Pastor Emerson Davis. Um, they have a wealth of knowledge. Um, it's a lot of fun back there. And it's age appropriate. That's the thing. Sometimes we're not really sure what to tell or how to teach the Bible. Because many times as adults, we're struggling ourselves to understand it. Why not bring your middle school kids in and let Pastor Emerson teach them? And you can learn and have conversations after church to really enhance both of your lives. And then we've got the dub, our high school kids, every Wednesday from 6 to 8 p.m. with our very own Sister Royal Davis. That is in person, guys, live and in color. And that is just an opportunity to chill and vibe and learn the word. Um, nothing else is better than to be around like-minded people, especially at the age when you're in high school, when a lot of different things are face, uh, coming your way. So it's a great opportunity. It's a great another outlet for you to connect your children with someone who's young and lively and knows the word and not afraid to share the word and can help you help your kids. You know what I mean? Because I know sometimes I, I, I've got kids of all ages between 20s and all the way down to, you know, 14 year old, sometimes those conversations are hard. You don't really know how to approach them. Well, use these avenues through all of these ministries to help you help your kids, okay? Because it takes a nation, as we all know, and this nation here is to conquer. So join us at any of our, uh, any of our um, children's schedules. And then we have our Bible classes all week. 
Um, we start out with our Wednesday Human Bible Experience, and that's an online experience with the amazing Reverend Terrell Richmond. And that's every Wednesday from 7 to 8 p.m. Right now, we're going through the Book of Chronicles. If you have not been with us, we've charted all the way back from Genesis. So this has been a journey. Um, if you've had the opportunity to check in with them, great. If not, this is a perfect time to pick up. Don't worry about what you've missed. You've got plenty of time to go back to it. But that's every um, every Wednesday at 7 p.m. And uh, just reach out to the link there and they'll send it to you and you can learn the Bible. And then we have our Thursday women's Bible study. Um, that's at 12 p.m. And that's with Deacon Sue Sterling. And that's going to be on Zoom. You see all of the information there on the slide. So if you've got some time during lunch and you want to share the word, um, it's the perfect opportunity, whether you're teleworking or if you're in the office, take your lunch break or put your earphones on, get some Bible in you. Because a lot of times you never know when you're going to need that word. You never know when that coworker is going to come to you with a situation or a problem. And if you had the opportunity to get some word in you, you can be a blessing to them. So join them, join them at 12 p.m. Then we've got our Thursday, 12 p.m. men's Bible study, and that's at 12.15 to 1.30. That's on Zoom as well. That's our men in ministry. Um, guys, we always tell you sharing is caring, so share it, share it, share it. Do a lunchtime Bible study while you're breaking bread. What better way to fellowship and eat okay so join us join the men for the men's bible study on thursdays then we have our saturday women's bible study and that's with deacon jackie palmer we are going through the amazing women that are in the bible continuing with them um, we've got some revolutionary things that have been discussed about all of the women about what their names mean about what some of their names that didn't even have names, um, like the woman with an issue of blood and how important that is. And I never even thought about it until I started attending the Bible study and really sunk my teeth into it. So shout out to all the leaders of our Bible study programs. What you do it does not go unnoticed. So we thank you. Then we've got our Sunday morning um, Bible study here with uh, Pastor Ernie Davis. For those of you who have never sat in Bible study with Pastor Ernie, he is a wealth of knowledge. Um, he, <laughs> he is a historian. So it's always great to sit amongst folks that you feel comfortable about asking questions. Um, I know sometimes that's what's so interesting about, about um, Christians is that we get a little apprehensive about because we think we're supposed to know. It's okay. This is why we offer so many opportunities for Bible study. So there's really no need for you to be shy about it. You can figure out which one works best for you. You don't have to go to them all, you, or you can go to them all. It's up to you. It's totally up to you. So definitely reach out. You've got five different ways in which to connect for Bible study. Um, throughout the week. So there is no need for you to not be in the know and at least have one scripture memorized per week. Okay. That's what we're going to conquer. One scripture per week. I know you can do it. Um, I know you can. Okay. <laughs> So we still have a lot of things going on. We've got a lot of different services that are here within Celebration Church. We are still offering grief support. Um, big shout out for folks who are going through and struggling. And also meant to shout out for those folks who um, are missing their fathers this Father's Day. That is a form of grief. Their father may have passed away, um, may not be here. You never know what people are going through. So for those who have recently lost their fathers to First Lady, um, and for any of anyone that can hear my voice, um, our prayers are with you. You are not alone. We know that this is a difficult occasion for you. Um, and if you're having a hard time getting through it, it doesn't matter when it happened. You know, you never know when grief takes over you. We have a licensed professional counselor here um, Deacon Do Joanna Durham. Um, we offer grief counseling. We have a counseling center. It is very private. Um, I've actually used her myself. I've referred her out. Very personable. Um, just an opportunity to get out of your head um, and have a conversation with someone who can help walk you through what it is to, to try to win at life. Because we say it, but sometimes it's kind of difficult to do, and sometimes it's kind of difficult to figure out um, how to make this work in life. So we, we are here for you. We've got a counseling sitter right here in Celebration Church. So join us. You can reach um, Deacon jo um, Joanna at 443-741-4114. And trust me, she is a wealth of knowledge. 
And then for today, if you're not hanging out, or maybe a perfect gift for your dad is to check out the Kennedy Center. We are still highlighting today is Sister Kishna Davis, which is Bishop's little sister, Kishna Davis Fowler. This is her last night at the Kennedy Center. I know she's been blowing it up. She is a beautiful soprano. You can catch her last performance today. She is a world-renowned Juilliard-trained opera singer. She's a professor at Kent Uni State University, and she is a powerhouse singer. If you have not seen or heard her you must have been in a rock because this young lady right here has got skills um just a beautiful woman of god happens to be bishop's baby sister we love her shout out to you sister uh, kishna for all that you're doing the representation that you're giving and the people's lives that you're touching just through your art and that's what that's what's so great about this celebration church is whatever god has graced you with your voice your talent your dance if you use it for the lord it's amazing and look how god's opening doors for you so shout out sister kishna fowler uh, we are so proud of you as you are showcasing in that reframing the narrative at kennedy center so there i'm not sure you got to log on to kennedy center to see if there's still tickets but maybe you can get tickets for your dad for father's day Okay, worth a shot, worth a shot. Tonight is her last day, so definitely reach out and try to see if you can go. And then we've got our Winterian Athletics, right? You gotta cut, you gotta be good. Um, mind, body, and soul, right? That's what we focus on here at Celebration Church. So we've got our Win uh, Win Ath Winterian Athletics going on. We've got our black top basketball going, and we've got basketball for every ages, as you see on the slide. We've got JV, we've got eighth grade, we've got high school, we've got men's, we've got kids. So if you haven't already signed up, I know it's too late, but you can come on out and cheer these teams on. They're so cute to watch the little ones play. Um, Brother Robbie Davis sent some dropped some on uh, Instagram yesterday and they were really cute just watching them go through. So come on out, give these guys some love, bring your lawn chairs. I know it's a little chilly, so bring your jacket out <laughs> when you're coming, but it's a great opportunity to get some sun, um, watch some basketball. Final Four just ended. Shout out to the, what was it, Golden State Warriors that won that one. We got our own Golden State uh, Winterians out here on the blacktop. So come on out and watch them. We got the men's division. Okay, so definitely it's never too late to come on out and get some sunshine. Uh, we've, they've got great vibes out here. Bring your lawn chair and just fellowship. You don't have to just be in church to fellowship, guys. I'm not sure if you got that message, okay? You can just come and do gr just regular things. My small group, shout out to them in his presence. We went out to, to dinner and a movies this past week. So it's not all about just coming to church. We've got to break down the walls of church and, you know, church folks do regular things. We, we do regular things. We eat, we go to movies, we fellowship, we do basketball games. So church is fun. We got to rechange, rebrand what people are, you know, know and thinking about it. So shout out to everybody that's doing great things out there. And then shout out to our Rentarian Athletics. Um, you can, you can see them on Instagram and Facebook. You can get workout and nutrition suggestions. You got small snippets that you can just copy and just do a, a quick five minute, 10 minute uh, workout. And we're not asking you to start out with a one hour program. Do whatever works for you, but get moving, stay moving. Cause we need you here and we need you working, walking, running, pushing your um, wheelchair or whatever it is. Um, we just, we need you here, so definitely, definitely um, stay stay connected and stay fit okay so we've got our men's group fitness um that's going on we got our own brother george tyler hitting us off monday wednesday friday with the men 7 30 to 8 30. okay okay good morning good morning good morning <laughs> good morning pastor larry let's slide over oh, a little bit so oh, we can oh, see oh, you. oh slide over, yeah, oh, slide oh, over oh. a little bit <laughs> oh, I, oh i wasn't staying long <laughs> I wasn't. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning, Pastor uh, Larry. And happy Father's Day, sir. Happy thank Father's you. Thank Day. you. Thank you. It's good to not be on camera so nobody can see the changes <laughs> that we're making in the house for my short visit. Oh, and you know, oh, oh, there it goes right there. Um, uh, 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 we, we got the, um, that's exactly what I was calling to talk about. Our, the wind incubator. The one incubator. Yes. How are you? Well, happy Father's Day, look, look, sir. Look, this is um. Thank you. I, 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 you know, I just was walking by, and it's he like just it's popped in. It's Father's Day, That's so right. I, I'm just gonna right. just, just, just jump right, right in here. All the men in charge today. You, you know, you have just an 
<laughs> outstanding team now. So it's yes. like I don't have to do this anymore. <laughs> oh, he's happy. Look, yeah, this is great. The, that was my Father's Day gift to him. I would take this over. <laughs> and she has done a fantastic job. Wouldn't you agree? Wouldn't you agree, Celebration Church? Come on, I can't hear you. Come on, come on. Fantastic job. So um, how are What's you? What's going on? All is well. All is well. Celebrating the whole month of June. So all is well. How, how was your Father's Day? My Father's Day is getting started. Okay. Did they make um, you breakfast in bed? N- not yet. Not yet. Okay, but, you're going but, back but home. But I'm going back here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm going. Uh, uh, Alicia cooked this morning. for. Okay. for, for so anyway, but, uh, that, but I digress. Um, so look. I just love this live thing. Yeah, uh, <laughs> spontaneous. And I'm only going to be here for a short time because I got some other things to do. But I wanted to come by and tell our audience mm-hmm. that... The first Sunday in July, that okay. would be July 3rd, okay. we are going to have another um, business fair immediately following church. Nice. A black business expo immediately following church. So you remember okay. we did that um, back in December. Yes. Um, Very when, successful. Yeah, it was like ex- yes. extremely. So if you're out there or you know a mm-hmm. black business in this region, and we want you want to get some exposure not only to the Celebration Church family, but to all of those who are connected to the Celebration Church family. Which is a lot of stuff. You want to reach out to me. <laughs> I'm going to take care of that. So you can send me um, an email to L Walker at Win in Life. L Walker at Win in Life. Send me an email. Let me know about your business. Um, we want to get you here. We'll get you set up back in the um, in the connections lounge. Mm-hmm. And we are going to have after service. We're going to send. I didn't realize how loud that was. Yeah, you uh, got to be focused up <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm ready to. You know, I'm my father. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, yeah, you want to reach out to me, L Walker at Winning Life. <laughs> Let me know about your business, and we will make sure that you have a table to display your business. And it could uh, be authors for books, too, because we had be, a bunch of authors last time. That's a business, yeah, right? Yeah, that's a business, you sell, right. If you're selling so it. Putting that seed in your head. If you're, if, you, if you're African-American or African, if you're from the African diaspora, <laughs> how's that? There did you I, go. Did I cover you covered it? everybody. <laughs> you're connected to us in any way, which means you're hearing this message or somebody that you that's know right. heard this message. <laughs> you are welcome to come and join us. Um, you know, Celebration Church, we always want to do our part yes. to make sure that our community is supporting Seed one and another. That's right. Right. Mm-hmm. right. Because there's no better way to plant the seeds of growth than That's to right. support our own. That's right. And so we want you to come and join us here on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. July 3rd. Yes. Sunday, July 3rd. We'll be here um, in immediately following service. Um, that's a holiday weekend. Fourth of July is that is. next. But there's still going to be people here. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's going to be people mm-hmm. here. That's the all, all the more reason why folks. Right. Will, will, will it's show not up, our right? holiday though, so it's really no holiday. It, exactly. Our holiday. Right. Let's, our let's holidays, put it in perspective. Our right. holiday is today. Today. That's right. 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 This is our holiday. Um, and 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 even that wasn't freedom. But let me not go there. You know. Let me get, uh, look. Look. Let me not. We're not going to get the historian l- started. L- 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 <laughs> let me not. Let me not digress. But anyway, um, um, the Black Business Expo. On Sunday, July 3rd, mm-hmm. L. Walker at winninglife.com, or you can call the church and give us your contact information and let us know that you wanted to, to display your business uh, here on that day. Bring items, bring yes. plenty. Um, for those of you who are in the bake foods, um, I certainly am a great taste tester, <laughs> so you can bring samples you or just bring taste, stuff, right? to, or just bring stuff to sell. Because and for yeah. those of you who are teeter tottering on whether you should do this, apprehensive, this is your opportunity to step out on faith. So this is your confirmation you word, yes. Okay, from yes. Pastor Larry that he is talking to you, the one who says, "Should I? Could I? Can I do this?" Yes, we're conquering that fear Amen. today. Okay? Amen. You know what? That that is exact. <laughs> that's a word. That's a word from the Lord. Ah, that's a word. That's a word. It's so crazy, right? It, it, that because you know sometimes yeah. we fail to think about right. the it's person the who's yeah. who's just trying who's who's wondering oh, how. Exactly. Yeah. Well, we're going to give you an audience. That's right. We're gonna give you a an audience. Free audience, a free. You, it gets no better than this. People and who love people, you. That's what I'm gonna right? say. People who people love you. People who want to see you succeed. Right. So it's too easy. Just do, bake whatever, cook whatever, finish that book, 
do whatever you need to do and be here. Contact Pastor Larry because we need your business. And you never know how that's going to touch somebody's life because somebody right. could have been looking for lawn care or a book to get them through or whatever gadget that you've made. You never know. A, a catering business, an accountant, yes. a lawyer, mm -hmm. um, a dentist, a yes. doctor. Uh, a physical therapist. Yeah, the power of referral is yes. real, y'all. Amen. It is Amen. real. Um, you haven't uh, figured that out. We have so many people now in the age of technology. Right. So many people in my in my group in the '60s. I'm in chapter 60. Proud of it, <laughs> by the way. Um, who don't really who aren't good at technology yeah. and how to use technology. Got some at 50 right? that, that struggle. Look. <laughs> and so if you're if you're somebody who's good with technology, um, if you're we have businesses mm -hmm. who know how to do whatever it is they do, but don't know how to market right, it. So if right. you're in the market, whatever your business is. Because you can come here and find a great marketer and figure that out. And Because you, you never know, sitting down having a, a simple conversation. I, this reminds me. Shout out to Sister Shelby because she is the marketing guru. Amen. And I remember I was working on a project and it was taking me days. And I happened to share this information with Shelby. She was like, oh, Nika, I can do that. Do, 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 do. I was like, you know what? I just spent three weeks on this project, something that took you five minutes to do. So you never know what having, having a conversation can do, what having just connecting. That's what God wants us to do is to connect. When you find yourself in that corner by yourself, just sheltering inside, we've done that. So it's time to peel off the, you know, the curtain. We're back can, live and in color. You can still keep your mask still on. I mean, I'm, I'm, when I get right. in there, I'm going to have it on, but it's all good. Right, but it's okay to reconnect. Yes, it yes, is so yes. okay. Well, thank you for letting me jump in of and join course, you. Of course, you can always uh, join. I'm going to let you get back to the business <laughs> of talking about the healing lab or any of all of that other stuff that you were talking about when I rudely interrupted you. No, 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 no. Always has a home here, Pastor Larry. Shout out to you and all that you do for Celebration Church. Um, this is the man behind the scenes. You guys don't ever see him. Well, you see him, but you don't really, I didn't really know all that he did until I started working with him. And shout out to you. He's a wealth of knowledge. If you ever have an opportunity to sit down and talk to Pastor Larry, about anything. He's well versed on history, African American history. Invited me out to a showcase last week. I have much respect for much respect for you for for the education that you're trying to just download on people. And some people don't quite get it, but we need people like you in our community to continue to spread the word, to continue to keep this up in our face, to continue to be vigilant, to continue to fight, to continue to educate, and to continue to push us to be our best. So shout out to you. So you asked me how my Father's Day was going. Well, that was it. That, that's, that's the beginning of a great Father's Day. Thank you. Thank you. You are thank so you. welcome. You. you are so welcome. All right, I'm going to let you get on to it while I slip away when they take me off camera. No problem. So we've got our healing lab, guys. We have our very own Dr. Lauren. Dr. Lauren is here with us every single. Um, you can reach out to her if you look if you have chronic pain and looking for an experienced physical therapist, uh, one that provides one-on-one -on -one mentorship. Um, excuse me, one-on-one -on -one individual focused care. Um, you can set up a, a call with her today. Um, she is excellent. She is right here in our Winterian Center reach out to her you see her email you see her phone number dr lauren you'll see her in church today okay so shout out to her and all that she does for us here then we also have another business called reveal wealth brothers uh broderick young and al johnson and what they do is they have a holistic approach to wealth management if you want to learn how to manage money you can be from 8 to 18 because you can never start too soon guys so reach out to them sit down with them don't ever break the fear and that especially for african americans we're apprehensive about talking about money because it's, a lot of times we we've, we've all grown up without money so sometimes it's it's, it's okay we're going to conquer that fear of not knowing and let's educate ourselves and if you know it then share the information with someone else because someone else may need to be you know involved with that may need to grow and protect and pass that wealth on that we all want to eventually have we have juneteenth today because the folks that were before us fought for us so now it's time for us to fight for our economic wealth and health so reach out to brothers um, broderick and brother al at 410-928-8081 now is the time to grow your generational wealth and then we've also got 
Coach Chris here with his winning results fitness. You can catch him here in the evenings, um, 6 p.m. He works with young athletes and also he has a women's group. So shout out to him. He does pain management classes. You can reach him at www.win4results.com or you can reach out to him by his cell phone, 240-241-0348. Plenty of businesses here. Just drop by if you haven't had a chance to come by and see church. Today's a perfect day. Come by and give Bishop that hug for Father's Day, okay? <laughs> then we're, we're gonna be shouting out um, Dream Launchers soon. Brother Jonathan Bell, who's actually one of the musician leads, runs the musician, um, uh, ministry here phenomenal man of God he is a producer well renowned has blessed many people here and we're gonna shout him out in his business we're gonna get a little snippet we're trying to get a video from him right so if you see him today ask him for the video okay <laughs> so we're look, super looking forward to him so those are just a few of the businesses that we have here you heard the shout out that um, Pastor Larry gave Ju July 3rd put that date on the calendar if you have a business if you know of someone with a small business if you know of someone with a large business and they want to share it's all about information dissemination it's all about referrals get in contact with Pastor Larry and let's support come on out and do that I think guys we still need you we've got ministries that need you so if you have a gift or don't have a gift but have a desire you can join the first connect ministry first contact ministry they're out there now I just saw them take us signs out there here to greet you for Father's Day and another blessed Sunday because we are on this side of glory <laughs> so you can join us there join that ministry we've got the multimedia ministry um, this is great for the teens this is great for some seniors you never know um, if you just got some extra time on your your hands and you want to learn how to do something we need you we need you um, we've got plenty of things we've got uh, visual PowerPoint stage managers photography video archive guys this is a uh, production everything that we do here at celebration we don't just turn the camera on and step away we've got a whole production scene so we need you uh, we've got the first impressions, first contact. We've got sex and ministry. We've got team greeters. We've got hostesses. We've got ushers. We've got parking lot. We've got security. We've got hospitality. We've got everything. And they're all walking in right now, getting ready for church. So whatever, whatever little bit of time you have, just donate. It could just be one weekend a month. That's all. Nothing big. Uh, we even need, we even need you in the nursery. We've got everything that we need you for. So just reach out and join us. We need you. And then we've got our um, our inside celebration ministry that I'm going to be <laughs> plugging next week. We need you. We're looking for some new faces to come on here with me. So if you have the gift of gab or if you don't think you do or just like to be behind the scenes, um, reach out to me. OK, <laughs> stop me in church or whatnot. So before we sit, before we do our birthdays, we are going to do a quick gift shot highlight. And if you haven't had a chance to visit us at the gift shop, we've got a lot of awesome books that are there. This one is called Leadership with a Servant's Heart, Leading Through Personal Relationships by Ed DaCosta. This can be found here at your very own Winterian gift shop. This amongst many other books, t-shirts, sweatshirts, um, baby clothes, whatever you need, hoodies, caps, mugs. If you, did you get your Father's Day gift? If not, this is the perfect time to get it. So after service, open up, come on out to the gift shop and you can get your father or the men in your life a Winterian celebration gift, okay? Book, shirt, cup, whatever your pleasure, we'll get you out there, okay? And before we leave out today, we're going to talk about the birthdays. Happy, happy birthday to our June birthdays, to our very own founding bishop, Robert Stanley Davis Sr. Praise God for you, sir. Happy birthday yesterday. We saw all the love on Instagram and Facebook. Shout out to you, bishop. We, we would not be where we are today if it was not for you. So shout out to you. God bless you. Shout out to Deacon Syek Sterling, June 15th. Shout out to Zayed Sterling, June 15th. I believe that's her granddaughter. <laughs> Happy birthday, Princess. And her son and his wife, Tanera Sterling and Brian Sterling. They just shut down the whole month of June in that family. Congratulations. Happy birthday. Beautiful. Sh shout out to Barbara Goodrich, June 18th. Happy birthday, Queen. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to Debbie Bowles, June 18th. A lot of birthdays yesterday. Happy birthday. 
<clears throat> Happy birthday, Ruth Rogers. Oh, that's my partner right there. <laughs> Sister Ruth, that's my sexton twin. Happy birthday, girl, June 21st. Happy birthday, Evelyn Williams, June 21st. Happy birthday. Beautiful. Happy birthday, Charles Lyles, June 22nd. Okay, all with the all white on. We see you, sir. Happy birthday, Constance Williams, June 19th. Beautiful, beautiful. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mother Deacon Barbara Moore. Look at that queen right there. The love. Oh, my goodness. Happy birthday, beautiful. Happy birthday, Hope Hall, June 24th. Happy birthday, gorgeous. Happy birthday, Javon Okpala, June 24th. Happy birthday, queen. Look at you. All these beautiful queens and kings. Happy birthday, Duke and jo Deacon Joan Dub. I think she's here today. Happy birthday. She should be at the door in the hostess, so make sure you give her a shout out. Happy birthday, Lisa Walker, June 25th. Happy birthday, queen. And then we've got our anniversaries. Happy anniversary and love to Pastor Randy and Deacon Trina Thames, another amazing foundational pastoral leadership within Celebration Church, the House of Red and White, the Kappas and the Deltas. Happy birthday, I mean, happy anniversary. And shout out to you if we've missed you. It is not too late. You can send, still send your pictures in for the month of June. We love you. Uh, we care about you. We care about your growth um, spiritually, mentally, and physically. So we hope that you've got that. We put out a lot of information. So make sure that you share this. Make sure that you bookmark those dates and times that we're here with you. And come on out. You still got 30 minutes to make it to church. I want to see you. It's happy Father's Day. We got to love on our men. We've got to give them some extra love today, okay? So bring, bring out your husbands. Bring out your dads, your granddads. Call your dads a granddads. Say that prayer for those who have lost. And always remember that God created you to win in life. God bless. I'll see you soon. Happy Father's Day. We love you.